the Miami Dolphins will enter into the 2021 regular season riding a two-game winning streak. The Dolphins' 29-26 victory over the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday afternoon had a little different feel to it than Miami's dominating 37-17 win over the Atlanta Falcons the previous week, but nevertheless a win is a win, and that's where the Miami Dolphins find themselves this evening. A winner of two straight. The Dolphins controlled the pace of play for much of the first half despite sitting nearly their entire starting lineup. The effort against Cincinnati featured a number of cameos from the top of the depth chart, including starting OL in Robert Hunt and Solomon Kindley, first-round pick Jalen Phillips and cornerback Nick Needham. And, in their own way, each made a significant impact on the game. But it was less heralded players like seventh-round rookie back Garrett Dokes, two rushing touchdowns, and wide receiver Kirk Merritt, three receptions for 72 yards and a touchdown, who helped make the biggest difference. No one made a bigger impression on the game than third-string quarterback Reed Sinnott, who played the entire game for Miami and finished 22-33 passing for 343 passing yards and two touchdowns, including a miraculous Hail Mary heave in the final minutes to flip the script of the game. Miami at one point trailed by 12 with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter after the team's third-string defense struggled mightily to deal with the size of the Bengals up front. Cincinnati leaned heavily into the run game and got a few fortunate breaks along the way, including a dropped interception from Dolphins DB Jamal Perry to claim the lead. But it was Merritt, Sinnott and recently acquired offensive tackle Greg Little who shined the most late in the game and helped the Dolphins complete the comeback finalized by Tay Chris Myurek's leaping reception to complete Sinnott's desperate heave. The Dolphins needed some late-game heroics from another former first-round pick in Noah Igbenogany, who struggled at times in coverage but finally found the football on fourth down with the game on the line to bat away a deep pass and ice the game for Miami. From here, the Dolphins must focus on their roster cuts. There are difficult decisions to be made. And from there, the focus can shift fully and completely to the New England Patriots in week one of the regular season.